The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. The only difference between this example and the last is that we're using the word and instead of or. It's very important to understand, however, that this one change will give you an entirely different answer to the problem. So let's start by graphing our two inequalities just above the number line. A is greater than 1, and A is less than or equal to 3. Remember that AND means intersection. And when we take the intersection of these two inequalities, our answer will only include what the two inequalities have in common. So to figure out what these two inequalities have in common, let's take a look at where their graphs overlap. Notice that they overlap between 1 and 3. So in our final graph on the number line, we'll start with an open dot at 1. Notice we use an open dot because 1 is not common to both inequalities. And we have a closed dot at 3 because 3 is common to both inequalities. And we include all the points in between because that's where the two inequalities overlap. This type of graph is called a segment and it's represented as the set of all a's such that 1 is less than a which is less than or equal to 3. And that's our answer. To learn more about how to represent segments in set notation, take a look at the next example. 